Kings, it is Nappy Foo all up on your screen, and today is a Nap Chat video. This video is inspired by y'all, Team Kings, yes, ma'am, on Instagram and on YouTube. I have posted a fill in the blank statement. When I first went natural, I used to. Girl, I love, first of all, I love how many of y'all responded, and I love the responses that I got. So I had to make a video on this, okay? Sorry, y'all, my lighting will be going in and out because I'm using natural light. Y'all know how it is. Anyway, let's get into it. Let me full checking in. Let go. This week I was inspired by the book of First Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. For the one who desires life to love and see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Amen. Team Kings for another wonderful video. I hope you have been enjoying the content I have been putting out there, y'all. Vlogmas was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to basically be reacting to your statements too. When I first went natural, I used to, the Nina, the Nina Baxter said, she used to do a lot of research, filled a notebook full of oils and butters with the benefits of the hair. My daughter started on her natural journey a few months ago, so I passed it down to her. Oh, that's so cool. It's like in the family. I love that. So she ain't going to go through all that trouble of research, and she already did it for her. I have a book binder, too, of the oils and butters, the reactions, what mixes well, what doesn't mix well. I did, girl, I still have all that, too. So I feel that. Okay. All right. Next, we have Crystal Lux Tourmalin. Crystal X Tourmalin. Maybe that's all it is. I used to redo flat twists every day. Girl, not every day. And complain about so much shed hair. Girl, I'm glad you stopped. I'm glad you stopped, girl. Not every day. That is labor. Okay. <laughs> Annie. Annie said, I used to wash my hair every one to two days. It was so short. Oh, okay, okay. It was so short that I could get away with washing it frequently. I kind of miss being able to do that. My scalp used to be so clean and my hair smelled so good. I believe that. I believe that. You know, a clean scalp is a healthy scalp. A clean scalp is a happy scalp. You feel me? So people used to feel like you wash your hair every day and it's actually not good for you. Research actually shows ain't nothing wrong with you washing hair every day. Whether you have straight hair or you have kinky hair. The thing is with kinky hair, we just don't have, we, it's just a lot more work. So we tend not to wash our hair every day unless you have short hair, okay? But then once a week, once a week is perfectly fine. Once a week, out, once a week. Mm -hmm. Candace says that I used to think I had to use 74 million different products on my hair and use the latest trendy products slash hair care lines. Eventually, I grew out of that phase and learned to just go with what my hair and wallet, I know that's right, likes. Keeping it simple is a beautiful thing, girl. I know that's right. That girl said my hair and uh, my wallet. Cause I'm, I'm not about to go break. I'm not about to go broke for my kinks. I will refuse. I refuse. Who's girl? The other day I was online. I don't. Oh, I wish I would have took a screenshot. There was this hair product line that basically had the options of you paying it in installments. Why are you doing installments on a hair product? Should no hair product cost you so much? You gotta do installments. What for what? You definitely tripping. Okay. Shashire DJ. When I first went natural, I used to just shampoo and condition my hair with the same products I used on my relaxed hair in between salon visits. The first time I used a really good deep condition on my natural hair, I couldn't believe I was looking at the same hair. Girl, a good deep conditioner can save lives. Okay. All right. Carter B. I used to think I had bad hair. I love my hair and all is kinks. I know that's right. And then Coco Monroe says, me too. Stay true says, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that too. Yes, indeed. There's no such thing as bad hair. No such thing as bad hair. Anyone who is saying that, I don't care if it's your auntie, your grandmama, you let them know that's not true. There's no such thing as bad hair. Such thing as bad people, but there's no such thing as bad hair. Izukanji Simpamba says, I used to limp check every week <laughs> till I discovered it takes time and patience to see results. Yes. And she had a response to it. Your Lynn Johnson says, same. I know that's right. It does take time. So save yourself the headache and don't be doing no limp check every week, not even every month. Like just, that's like a good and grow. Focus on health. Y'all already know.
All right, New York Chica. I use the pre poo for an hour or more. Shampoo, condition, deep conditioning, use a leave in, cream, and oil to style. I literally had a wash day as if I were at work. <laughs> ah! When it comes to wash day, there's so many different ways to do it. Because a lot of stuff she mentioned, I do. I pre poo. But I pre poo overnight, so it don't feel like work to me. I shampoo, I deep condition. I don't really use a, the conditioner, but I do deep condition. And I use a leave in. I use a cream. I use the oil, but I don't use those to style. There's a styler for styles, right? But I think at the end of the day, your wash day is, it really has to be, like Candace says, according to your checkbook, according to your time availability, okay? At the end of the day, all our hair really, y'all already know, all our hair needs is a clean scalp and moisturized hair. Hydrated, boom, you're good to go. Everything else are just additional boosters or bonuses, better yet. Silent Night says, I used to think that if I slathered on the right conditioner and gel heavily, my forcey hair would suddenly break out into all these silky, shiny curls like the YouTube girls were doing. And I'd have a cute curly fro. But all my hair did was remain stiff and wooly with no sheen. It wouldn't move for nothing. And the products just all turned my hair white and flaky. Also, because coconut oil was a scientific oil for natural hair, I thought if I slathered it on my hair, well, on my hair while wet, I'll trap a whole lot of moisture. Laugh out loud, my hair remained dry AF but oily. I've accepted my hair now. It's a pain, but I honestly don't want anything other than 4C. It's unique. Just need to stop being so dang fragile. There's a lot here, and I appreciate her honesty. I really, really do. Let me go ahead and heart that. Um, but I just, I don't know, I kind of feel like if you accept your hair, following up with saying it's a pain, it's like, what, well, have you accepted it? New Diva 14 says, and I quote, I used to retwist every single night to try to have a curly twist out at the time. I didn't understand that the daily manipulation was just a bad, was just as bad as chemicals and heat styling for my 4C hair help. Girl, yeah, that daily manipulation on our kinks. She don't like it. She don't like it at all. She had a couple of responses to this one. Coco Marone says, girl, say it again. Say it again. The first month I was up every night seeing this mess up. Had my hands looking like Golem. I don't know what Golem is, but I think it's probably a reference to uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, and then Melita says, I was right there with you. I feel you, okay? Every night, girl, staying up, retwisting. Ah, my hair should not feel like labor. Like, like. Alicia 416 says, I had a simpler routine. No pre poos no deep conditioning, no leave-in. Just wash and condition. Well, girl, get back to it. Because at the end of the day, this is what we mainly just need. Clean scalp, well moisturized and hydrated hair. Rachel Nelson says, I used to deep condition with a rinse out conditioner. I also thought I had to do the LCO method every day. Girl, I'm glad you stopped. I'm assuming you, you know that you don't have to do it every single day. Okay, you do it when, it, when it's needed which shouldn't be every single day. Yeah. Oh, cool. Donicia Young says, I, I hated my curl pattern. I used to hate, hated my curl pattern. I literally had to unfollow anyone with type three hair until I learned to love my own hair. I would cry because no matter what product I use, my hair wouldn't turn out right. Right. I have 4A, 4B hair. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. I have an appointment for a curly cut soon and I can't wait. Donisha, you speaking, the test you speak in the heart of a lot of us okay definitely i think i've said it before i definitely encourage you to unfollow any channels that's not allowing you to truly accept what you have grown out of your scalp until you can fully accept what you have grown out your scalp don't set yourself up for failure by following other people's channels thinking while you're loving theirs you will also be loving yours i know you need to fully accept and love embrace and stand by your hair texture because then when you see others, when you see other hair types, you can just simply appreciate theirs, not secretly envy and desire, desire it for your scalp because you're already in love with yours. Fall in love with the kinks. Fall in love with your kinks. I'm just saying, it makes a world, it makes your journey even, even sweeter. All right, Roro says, I used to do the most. Every week, this was my process. 
hot oil treatment with every carrier and essential oil you can think of. D. Shampoo, condition, new condition, LCO, method, then style. Took hours and honestly, I feel like that was the healthiest my hair has ever been. Now, seven years later, I don't do nearly as much, but I cannot bring myself to do all that again on a weekly basis. I have a husband and a kid now. She got stuff to do! I feel you, girl. You, you don't got time for that. Let me tell you something. All the stuff you did, all the stuff you were doing, I feel you. I be doing them steps too. But at the end of the day, like I keep on saying, what we what our hair really needs on a consistent basis, a clean scalp, hydrated, and moisturized hair. Period. All right, so that was YouTube. Let's get to some of the ones that's on Instagram. Come on, light. Come back to me, light. Here we go. All right, my light's coming back. All right, on Instagram. DarXL underscore hair says she used she used like 105 different hair products. Girl, been there. I feel you. Underscore Emily Day said use Canto, Pantene, and Shea Moisture. And then she has a like the fake the the emotion that goes like, oh my gosh. But what's wrong with those products? I I'm I, I still use Shea Moisture. Canto, I never had a need, I never had my hair never liked. And Pantene. Oh no, I never use Pantene. But I still use Shea Moisture. What's wrong with those people? All right, Easy Afro says, I didn't know how to moisturize my hair and or do proper protective style. Oh, I was, oh, okay. Oh, it's not just the style, let me read it again. I didn't know how to moisturize my hair and or do proper protective style. Ooh. I was in the unknown world before pulling through. Ah. We thank God now you are, you are in the known world, okay? Nas D. Lou says, I used to sleep without a body. Oh! Oh! I'm glad you don't do that no more, girl. I hope you don't, girl. You know the importance of the bonnet? The bum bum, the bonnet. The Chop Beauty, the Chop Chop Beauty says, she used to buy so many hair products. Girl, you better, you better take, uh, you better understand your pocketbook matters, okay? Miss Rhonda Gail Wilson says she used to be a product junkie. I don't think I'm a product junkie any longer either. You know, I have grown from that. I'm lying, I still have a lot of products. Osuku3 says she used to be delusional on what I could achieve with my hair. Ooh, baby, delusional. Oh, okay, I guess she's saying more like not accepting what her hair type is and expecting to do what other hair types do. Curly versus kinky, I get it. Miss Charles Angel says she used to use a different set of products each week. Not a different set of products each week. Girl, no ma'am. I'm glad you stopped that. The real Ty G said, be embarrassed to go in public and see someone I knew before I chopped. I love my hair now, it was a journey. I heard, I know big chopping, that's a journey on its own, in addition to now natural hair. Cause you have to accept, the, you have to accept your features. Cause that's all that you're gonna see, right? If I was to cut all my hair off now, it's this you see mostly. So I feel you have to really accept how you look, your beauty. So when a big chop comes, it doesn't really shift you too much. I don't know. That's my little two cents on that. No, this is Erica. Says she used to buy every product under the sun, girl. I think a lot of us are product junkies, okay. Juliet Sullivan says, she used to put Monistat in her hair to make it grow. Sis, I hope you stop, okay? Don't be using no Vashy cream on your scalp. But I already know why you did it, because people on YouTube said you should do it. I get it, I understand. But we have to use, we have to use, hmm? we have to use this one here. Common sense should tell you, no, no. Let me also say, a lot of these products we will be putting in the hair, vaginal cream, vapor rub, it's more about there being one ingredient in there that makes it maybe something that can be favorable to your hair. So find out what that one ingredient is and then extract that and use that. Like with Vapor Rub, the ingredient was camphor oil. C-A-M-P-O-R, P-H-O-R. Camphor oil, which you can buy by itself. Extract that one and then use that. Don't use a whole Vapor Rub. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my opinion. Gamamba says wash my hair weekly. I hope you still do that, because nothing wrong with that. Marsha Peasley says, I was pregnant at the time and started my dreadlocks because I didn't have the time or energy to wrestle with my hair. Locks are dope though. Like in another lifetime, I think I might be a lock natural. I'm just saying. Butter Me Perfect says, 
did the same in 2010, had a relaxer on hand and text. Oh, okay, okay. She's responding to what I said. Uh, had a relaxer on hand and text lax it three or four months later. My head was stuck and I was following pre-YouTube 3C 4A ladies. It was so hard caring for my own hair type. I feel you. That's the space that I was in too. But we thank God for God and how he just pulls us through. Okay. Let me answer the question. When I first went natural, I used to keep a box of Optimum Relaxer in my closet. Y'all know the red box like this. Mm -hmm. It stayed in my closet. And it was always ready to be used. And to be honest with you, I ended up using it. I text lax my hair, but that's a whole other story. And I used to also, like a lot of people have said, try to mimic the curls of other naturals. And when mine did not do successfully, I thought it was a failure. I thought my hair was just being very defiant. But my hair was letting it, letting me, not knowing that my hair was letting it know, that's not me. You want me somebody who I'm not, and I refuse, I refuse. We have a lot of great ones here, y'all. I'm gonna kind of go through. Somebody says you use, what's the case? Somebody else says I use Cantu products. Am I missing something? Is this something Is this something actually wrong with Cantu products? I've actually never really, I have no Cantu products. I've tried them before, but it just didn't agree with my contour. This didn't like them. But is there something actually wrong with them? I'm gonna research that. I'm gonna have to research that, okay? Have my sister twist my hair because I didn't know how. Do you know how now? Okay, because if you still don't, it's fine care what other people thought not anymore i know that's right somebody said they used to care what other people thought look that's more than just being when i was first went natural period in life i don't care what you think because your thoughts are your thoughts it's not factual okay this was fun i enjoy reading y'all i'm gonna put the links to both of them on youtube though and the responses on instagram if you want to go through just kind of read some of them and be entertained by it or even be inspired by it because some people have really dropped some gems okay so i encourage you to check it out when i first went natural like i said before i kept that box now that i'm fully in the natural world one thing i definitely have loved about this journey is the growth and the education you are able to get every day is something new to learn not just about your hair but about hair period right something else i've also come to learn is the more i do watch other naturals who might not have type 4c hair that actually i'm actually in this space where i can watch their hair and it makes me love my hair even more isn't that kind of weird it makes me appreciate contour even more you know because we have something because me and contour you know she's underneath all of this we have accepted each other and we have a bond that nobody can break <laughs> okay i'm getting too serious anyway y'all i hope you liked today's video i thought it was fun okay so if you never got to answer this question feel free to let me know in the comment box when you first natural you used to and fill that in all right and now let's get to today's snapchat question earlier we was talking about growth so one thing I want to ask y'all now is have you ever participated in a hair growth challenge? I am curious to know how many of y'all have. What was it? How did it go? What was the experience like? Let us know in the comment box below. Trust me, your response will help another kink out. Thanks in advance. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one. Until then, remember my sister, my cousin, my friends, Team Kings, I say Team Kings, okay? In order to have healthy hair, you've got to do healthy things consistently, even when nobody's watching, because somebody's always watching, okay? Have you check it out? This is water does a body good. You know what else does some good? You subscribe to this channel. Mm -hmm. If that button, that subscription button is red, click on it. Make it gray. Join Team Kings. And if you have a little bit more time, I'm sure you do. Go ahead and watch some more videos. Hang out with me a little bit longer because I'm not ready to let you go. I'm not ready to let you go. Okay. You and me will never. Uh, 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 uh. Watch some more videos. Bye, y'all. <laughs>